is imperative that we factor in access to clean energy, particularly clean cooking and fuels, into this year of marking Beijing plus 20 and also the Sustainable Development Goals and the important climate agreement in December. Uh, access to energy is crucial for development and now it has to be sustainable, it has to be clean energy, clean cooking, clean fuels. Uh, it frees up time of women, it makes huge difference to their health, it's vital for the Sustainable Development Goals. For clean cooking and fuel you need a market, you need to have uh, the capacity to deliver and what has been important, I think, of the Alliance of Clean Cookstoves is that it has worked with over a thousand partners now in order to create that market, in order to ensure that uh, women and communities will have access to clean cookstoves, clean fuel. And this has just made incredible changes. Everywhere I go now um, and talk about climate justice, people talk to me about access to clean energy. It's very much part of uh, the message that it's changing the lives of women in particular and their children um, locally and has huge co-benefits for all of the agendas of 2015. It is extraordinarily important that those who are in vulnerable situations because they're either refugees or they're displaced or they're suffering from large disasters that will be talked about, that they have access to clean energy. And that requires the kind of partnership that the Alliance of Clean Cookstoves has been able to put together between donors, policymakers, NGOs, uh, those who are entrepreneurs locally and those who are educating to access uh, to energy. Uh, I'm aware that climate change will cause more displacement of people. Indeed, they say it could be one of the worst uh, reasons for people to have to move and we still haven't got proper protection. But one of the things we can get is access to clean energy, clean cooking, clean, clean fuels for those populations. Mm -hmm.